Okay, I'm going to quickly show you how to deal with one of the uh, common errors we get. It's when the base station drivers don't install FTDI drivers for uh, for the SBS3, SBS1 ER, SBS1. Symptoms are you double click on base station like so and it'll either come up and tell you that it can't load because the FTDI driver is missing or it comes up like so and says not connected and sits there looking at you. So. If we shut down base station and we go to start, computer, C drive, program files x86 if it's 64 bit, if it's 32 bit it'll just be in program files. If you see my previous video on base station install it'll tell you how to tell the difference between the two. Go into the base station folder and you find here this program CDM20814. Just quickly recap with you, let's go through that path again. So from program files on 32 bit or program files x86 on 64 bit, double click, kinetic, base station, and then CDM20814. That last digit might change if the software updates, but this is the current one. So you double click on it it comes up and asks you if you're sure you want to run you say yes up pops a box and it's installed in the drivers once that's installed just disconnect and reconnect your SBS so we pull the USB lead out and then we put it back in and this box will come up saying installing device driver software sit there and don't do anything until it tells you it's finished now it's disappeared, that doesn't mean it's finished. Just let, wait until Windows tells you it's finished. And eventually it'll pop up with a box that says the installation is complete and the drivers have been successfully installed. It takes a while, um, don't rush, don't go off doing anything. There we go. Your device is ready to use, device driver software installed successfully. Double click on base station and away we go connecting to base station up it comes and straight away we're connected and we're receiving data okay while we're doing this video another quick one that people often ask me for where's the virtual store if you go to start computer name which is this applies to Vista and Windows 7 um, click on kinetic support in here you'll find the um, the folder the contents of the folder and when I said start and click on kinetic support obviously your computer will be whatever your computer is called this is my support machine it's called kinetic support so this folder what we're looking for is a folder called app data if you can't see app data go to organize folder and search options view show hidden files and folders apply ok double click on app data double click on local virtual store program files kinetic base station in here we've got the base station sqb file that's the thing that holds the registrations and i'll be showing you shortly how to install the utilities on our website for which you'll need to know this uh, country flags live here operator flags outlines waypoints etc etc so there we are that's where the virtual store is once you're finished just close it down until next time so uh, the next video will be showing you how to install all the add-ons manually that are available on our resources site thanks for watching come back soon